the days of education are over the days of learning are in and when i say learning it is experiential learning and it is not that learning is being talked about for the first time before industrialization in our gurukuls it was all learning it was personalized adaptive done under the tutelage of gurus and the british system that we had for about 200 years was all for education and we have all gone through it and we know how much damage it has done skills have been stripped of knowledge we no longer pay heed to skills academic institutions are just mandated to you know make the students pass they just pass through one class to the other and move on and on without knowing what they are actually learning it is just sort of gates that we have put and just you enter and keep moving what is interesting is that many things are happening but we are not realizing and thankfully the pandemic which was which dealt a huge blow to us opened our eyes in fact now we realize that education is happening outside the classes it is no long no longer an institutional thing and the biggest assault of pandemic was not on the teachers not on the students but classrooms they are over nothing is left for the students in this classroom because online learning starts from row one of the classes the classrooms are not designed for learning they fulfill the requirement of education not learning it does not the classrooms don't accommodate all type of learners it's only hardly 25% of the students who sit in the classrooms are actually interested in that most of them are either forced to sit because of no choice or they don't like the lecturer they don't like the topic they don't like the timing so a lot of factors are there and top of it our academic institutions operate from 9 to 5 which is also the office hours they are not learning hours they are meant for servicing or service so biggest assault or biggest hit is the classrooms and it has become very conspicuous now another thing which has changed is the role of teachers in english we have only one that is teacher but if you look back our ancient texts first is adhyapak then upadhyay pandit acharya drishta and guru guru is at the top and if you see the indian literature you will find all these terms somehow these were lost because of the industrialized society the needs of industrial society was totally different we had factories and norms and conformance with the norms conformity with the norms was the requirement so it was not just the non living objects or the products which were to which were to conform to certain standards we started doing it with the humans also that's why you hear the terms which are used in the factories even in the academic institutions pass fail reject grade progress pass these are certain terms you will find in factory they were not supposed to be used in education system but because we borrowed that concept of factory model we use these word no human can ever fail you should not fail but it is our academic institutions who fail and it is a failure of academic institution not the human being 
So the role of teacher has to change. They no longer have to be standing before to transmit knowledge. So Adhyapak and Upadhyay, the bottom most. So Adhyapak is one who gives information, Upadhyay is the one who gives knowledge. So these two roles are lost to the machines now. There is no point spending time on that. So we have to evolve. They have to come forward as mentors, from sage on the stage to guide by the side and now pack at the back, that is the new role. So they have to play the role of Pandit, Drishta and Gurus. That means the teachers have to elevate themselves. Curriculum is something which universities prescribe and probably forget also, it take ages to revise them. Dr. Ramesh, he takes care of curriculum revision and actually they are boring. Unless you embed them with challenges, life of a student with curriculum alone is listless, it's, it has no meaning unless you throw some challenges. So what actually is required in the curriculum are challenges. Otherwise, there will be no learning. It will be only moving from one semester to the other, one year to the other. Then comes examinations, which is the most outdated concept. When we have everything in our hands, why do we test the memory? EXAM, examining Xeroxing ability of mind. Everybody agrees with that? So there is no point. So we have to come out of that. It encourages copying. That is the worst thing that we have. Why, why do we put pressure and make people copy and then tell them you are using unfair means? So if copying of answers in the answer sheets is wrong, then copying of questions from last five years should be also wrong. The point I am trying to make is that we should not go back to the predetermined content. That is education. And if we want to make learning happen, we have to move forward. We have to explore our past, but we have to keep moving forward. Through the current curriculum model and the setup we have, we are actually giving the information of the past.